a boil without a head is as dangerous as an untreated disaster. Lancing a boil without a head can become more difficult because the inflammation is usually deep within the skin, closer to the underlying muscles. Hi, this is Onis from AmeriGym.com. Today, we are going to talk about boils without a head and the process involved in lancing the boil. Before we proceed further, please share this video with your friends and family and do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you want me to keep sending you information on how to identify and prevent boils and bacteria infection on your skin. Also smash that bell notification icon so that I can keep on sending you important similar health information like this. A boil without a head is not only painful but also can be tough to heal. The difference between a boil that has a head and one that does not is that the boil that has a head is very easy to drain because the pus comes to the surface. Boils without a head, however, require much more care and should be only lanced by a professional. Treating a ball with or without a head should be taken seriously. You need to educate yourself and must also be aware of the two stages of balls that I would like to talk about. Number one, the early stage. This is where the boy starts developing as a red sore lump deep in the skin. This is absolutely the best time to lance the boil. Number two, the later stage. This is the stage that the boil is forming a head. This is when you should draw the boil to a head and treat it while on the surface. However, in most cases, it is recommended that lancing a boil without a head should be performed by your doctor where he or she will use a sterile needle and syringe to pierce through the skin and extract the lump inside. If you decide to learn about the process involved in lancing a ball without a head by yourself, it is important to know how to prevent it from coming back or recurring. When a boil doesn't form a head, you would typically need to make your own. Boils can be pierced with a sterilized needle or scalpel to ensure that they drain all the pus. If a few days go by without spontaneous drainage, it would then become clear that a boil or abscesses will not respond to lesser treatment and may need surgical intervention such as incision and drainage. Now, please, do not forget to like and share this video. By sharing and liking this video, you have the power to help many, many people that have been suffering from this painful condition. Thank you. There are different ways of lancing a boil without a head. One way is to do it at all. Why another and the preferred way, like I said before, is to visit your doctor, where a small incision is made 
at the doctor's office to drain the liquid inside the pus out. A boy without a head that refuses to respond to treatment can be quite painful and frustrating. You may consider lancing a ball if you are experiencing symptoms like fever, severe pain, and body weakness. I have a couple of videos on this channel where I explained what to do before lancing a ball and how to lance a ball quickly and safely. Leave a comment below and let me know if you want me to discuss any topic that you would like to know more about. Make sure you watch my next video coming up where I explain in detail how to lance a ball safely.